Hello, Mr. Betts. Thank you so much for coming into the facility today. We appreciate your cooperation. Now, I have your file here, which I'm just going to take a little peek through and ask you just to confirm what's in here, okay? Before I go ahead and conduct a bit of a medical exam on you. So, Mr. Betts, you've been brought into this facility because you have extraordinary abilities that exceed the expectation of the common human. You are essentially a superhuman in some ways, right? So, let's see. It says here from your previous stay at the facility that you can regenerate body parts. Is that accurate? Okay. Let's get the board here. Okay, so you can regenerate body parts including your entire body. here that based on previous fingerprint records, it shows that you littered bits, bets, excuse me, that you shared um, identical fingerprints to a man once known as Albert Tanner, who had died six years ago in a car accident. that Albert Tanner was your previous identity. Okay. It says here that in order to regenerate your body parts or entire body, that you submerge yourself in a bath filled with the liquid providone iodine which is commonly used by researchers to promote limb regrowth in amphibians. Is this accurate? Now, this iodine has been known as being capable of altering human DNA in living cells, having um, mutagenic effects which could lead to cancer, which is not ideal for most, but for your particular genetic makeup, which happens to feed off of cancerous cells. Is this accurate? Mm -hmm. In fact, when you were first brought in, it shows that um, an interior slice of your polymerized head is was examined and that um, the frontal lobe displayed signs of pervasive cancer. Now, just to confirm, that's when you were first brought in, um, considered deceased, headless, but then um, your headless body left the morgue, went home, and simply regenerated in that iodine bath. Is that correct? led Agents Mulder and Scully to discover in you and your um, extraordinary abilities. Okay. Thank you so much for confirming all of that, Mr. Betts. Now, before you are Albert Tanner, right, 
how many other identities have you taken within your lifetime? And that was with your mother's cooperation and help, correct? So you remained in Pittsburgh this entire time. Thank you. All right, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is take a basic medical exam of you today. And just look right behind me. Okay. Perfect. Can you look at my nose? Are you currently experience any ringing in your ears, blurry vision, headache, nausea? Okay. So overall, you're feeling healthy. All right. And you say, ah. Oh, Go ahead and take your 
heartbeat. So, I know you've done a full body. Um, go ahead and breathe in and out. Good. Once more. Pains, no regular heartbeat. I was gonna ask, um, have you? I know you've done a full body regeneration, but have you had to specifically just regenerate your heart, for instance? Mm -hmm. Okay, I see. hearing. Okay. Now I'm going to bring uh, some items right up to your ears and just tell me if you're hearing them. Left, right, or not at all. Or, or both. Okay. Good. Closer, further away. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and take a blood sample. Okay. So just reach out your arm. One, two, three. take a skin sample. Okay. And you said the most newly regenerated areas over here by your neck. Okay. So we'll go ahead and take a sample there. Just going to make a tiny incision. been very helpful. Now, the next thing Is the dream. 
here if you wouldn't mind going through the process of regeneration today in our lab. So what we would have you do is that you would remove a body part of your choice and then we would put you into the tub for the regeneration process with the aform aforementioned iodine that you commonly use at home. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much. So, what are you thinking? Of course, we will make this as painless as possible. I'll numb whatever area completely so you won't feel the removal process at all. As I know you've been through quite the ordeals already in your life. Okay, the ear. Okay, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is just, um, like I said, put a numbing agent there and we'll remove how about ear from this side. Alright, and then we'll have you go right into the iodine. This is just so that we can view the regeneration process close and personal here. Okay, let's begin that. So why don't we just move into the next room where we have that all set up for you. Okay, I'll see you in there. disinfecting the area on your earlobe and around it before I administer the uh, numbing agent, okay? a slight pinch. Okay. Perfect. Now we'll give that a minute to set in. Okay. You don't have any... Okay. That's looking good. Just let me know when you can no longer feel that side of your face there. Okay. All right. 
How does it feel now? All right. Come in here. And I'm actually just going to remove half of the ear. Okay? Right. We don't need to do damage to you. We just want to see how the regeneration process um, happens and whatnot. So, we'll start here. Okay. Just going to cut right in. Let me know if you feel any pain, but you shouldn't. how long does the regeneration process take? Okay. So it's pretty quick. All right. Here, follow me right over this way. and growth. Is it 
experience any kind of ringing or echo or anything like that. Okay, so it seems that the neural pathways have been generated and repaired efficiently. Wow. Okay, this is extremely remarkable. I've never seen a case like yours before, but uh, when I spoke to Agent Skinner and he said you were available for testing, I was extremely um, excited to hear that. Okay. Interesting. There's this one right around there. Okay. Everything looks. much. Um, that's all I'll be needing from you today. I'd like you to return in a few days and we'll go over your full lab results from the blood work and whatnot. Okay? We appreciate you coming in. And um, you are an extraordinary person, that is for sure. Thank you so much, Mr. Betts. Take care.